Hello everyone, here's Claudio from Windrose and you are watching On Tour with Tori. Hey, I'm on the tour bus of Windrose outside of Hangar 1819 with Claudio, the guitar player. How are you doing today? Fine, thank you very much. I'm so good. I had this kind person <laughs> drive me to the guitar center because I had a problem with the guitar today. And yeah, that's that's a really good day to start with this interview. Yeah, we... <laughs> We heard about your guitar problem and you know we've got the car and we didn't want you to have to rely on Uber or anything like that so I was like we may as well offer and see if you guys can you know come with us and we can run you around and get you something to eat as well and so we did that and we helped you Thank out you that way. Much. Thank you so much that was really appreciated. Yeah. I will have to Uber back and forth if, yeah. you, if it was not for you. It's a pain <laughs> and it's a pain because then yeah. you have to wait for however long that Uber is going to take to get here and then wait around for another Uber to get back. Exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so. The, that's that was great. Thank you very much. You're very great. welcome. You're very welcome. So we're on day 10 of the tour. Mm -hmm. How have you found it so far? You've had a few sold out shows as well along the way. How have you found like that feedback from the crowd? Yeah, it was awesome, awesome, really awesome. This is our second headlining tour. The first one was in Europe last year, but in America it's the first one. And seeing so many people coming and paying a ticket to come see our show, mm -hmm. it's really amazing. I, I mean, I've toured a lot before, but mm, this is the, the first time I actually see people that come for me and for my band. And that's to, uh, another yeah. thing, really, really different. I, I've been loving this so much, and um, the um, people in America really are hyped for our shows. So we we didn't sell out all the shows, but they were like 80, 90 percent of the capacity. So mm. the ones that were not sold out. Right. So, and um, probably one of the best moments so far was the yesterday's show in in Atlanta, Georgia because we played in, in a really big venue and th there's this venue with three different halls, one small, one medium, one big and we hope that one day we'll, we could probably play the big one and we did yesterday and it was a blast. Yeah, I saw the photo on uh, Instagram and like all of your Instagram, all of your, your social media, we were talking earlier and you say that you do that. And I do that. It's yeah. so impressive, like the things you, you so come much. up with and just it gets the fans that are coming to see you hyped even more because You're of that right. social media presence. Yeah, thank so you so I much. think that's brilliant. Also with touring the US, do you feel a little bit more pressure on you to be like to have successful shows just because of how much it costs for you to come over here? And to that's play. a good question. That's a good question. Uh, to be honest, I feel really good in the United States. I don't. I don't have much going uh, on in my in my head while I'm on stage. I mm -hmm. just feel good and playing. I don't know why. Probably because we have a really good crew in yeah. this tour. Uh, so yeah, I I feel like probably it's also the second headlining tour. So mm -hmm. I don't feel that pressure too much. I just go on stage and enjoy being with people and that's probably the first time that that I enjoy this much actually being on, on the stage because you um, until now you always had to think about if you had uh, problems on your pedals on your wireless system now you don't have to think about that because we have a really nice crew we um, we with all the the tickets we sold we mm -hmm. could afford to, to bring good people with yeah. us you know so we, we go on stage, uh, we feel no pressure at all, at all, we go on stage, we do our job, we entertain people, we entertain ourselves <laughs> with people, and we, the, the tour so far is doing my, my favorite tour ever. Good, really. I'm glad, I'm glad. So how did you guys go about choosing, did you guys choose Alexandria or was that um, Napalm Records setting you guys up together, how did that come about? No, 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 it was, it was our manager Maurizio. You, we were we, we of course needed a, a band mm -hmm. to to open our shows because it's I think it's better to present a, a wider lineup to to the people and we came up with Xandria because it's a really big name in mm -hmm. the symphonic metal mm -hmm. scene and 
they have really big numbers on on I mean on YouTube on the platforms so we were like yeah let's do that they are a good band they have changed the lineup a bit mm -hmm. after COVID but they are still an awesome band and we are so proud to have them with us on this yeah. tour that's awesome they're I mean I, I got to see them last year um, we traveled to Texas to see Camelot and uh, they were supporting Camelot mm -hmm. Zandre was supporting them and that was the first time I've seen them live and they put on such an amazing show so I'm excited to see them get that crowd ready and amped up for you guys then to come on on stage and nice it's yeah, be yeah, awesome. yeah and they have a really nice spot in this tour I mean mm -hmm. probably in the Camelot tour they they played as uh, they were first yeah their first band yeah, yeah being the in this position that they, they are I mean they and they share the, the crew with us yep. so yeah, they, they are doing a really nice tour <laughs> as well. I really like them. So how do you guys go about choosing your set list for your tour? Mm. So we, we, we chose the set list. This is the same set list we did for the European mm -hmm. headlining tour. So um, of course you have to put the, the hits. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise the, they are going away. Right. <laughs> so um, and uh, we, we like in our shows we like to never uh, stop the momentum you know mm -hmm. we we want to play one hour and a half like really tight really tight but we also put the acoustic song mm -hmm. tomorrow has come so that it's something different right. but yeah um, we when we make the albums we have a lot of songs that are not fillers because it's bad we put a lot of effort in in also the songs that don't become so famous you know mm -hmm. but um, we try to put in the set list of a show only the songs that we really put our hearts on and that uh, we think that they come came out really good mm -hmm. you know so and um when when you do a lot of shows a lot of festivals you see how people react to the songs and and you understand what they want yeah that, I mean it's the people that choose <laughs> right, right. The, the fans are the most important thing exactly so, yes, yes. and I think it's important to take into consideration what you know what they like and what they want because obviously they're the ones paying you guys to do what you like to do and exactly and I'm excited obviously for your big hit diggy diggy hole that's like turned into this sort of meme by itself did you guys mean to do that when you came up with this song um, so uh, the thing is the people came out with this mm -hmm. song we, really? we yeah we didn't want to do that I mean we didn't even know the song uh -huh. I mean I probably heard about it before but I remember we were playing in, in England mm -hmm. we were in London and between one song and another people will uh, scream diggy diggy oh, hole so okay. what, 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 the heck what is, is that this? yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we we start uh, getting informed about mm -hmm. diggy diggy we talked about with about it with our manager mm -hmm. and it was like yeah boys yeah l let's do this let's do this and the thing is the funny thing is uh, we didn't want to put the song in the album right. because we were like no it's it's no, it's, we, it's the kind of we are more song, serious right, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But the manager was like, no, this is the first single and you need to shoot a video about it. Yep. No, why? <laughs> but in the end, it was a really successful move. Yeah. And I mean, we are, um, we, we were born like a, a serious metal band mm -hmm. and uh, we still are. Right. But we also have some party anthems mm -hmm. that came out after the Diggy Diggy old thing. Yep. So, uh, it's great. I mean, I, I, I really love to see people get entertained with the funnier mm -hmm. songs, the, but also stay for the more serious ones. Right. So this is, this is great. This is a really great uh, achievement that we will, we will probably uh, could not do without Diggy Diggy O, you right. know, but people uh, know Diggy Diggy O and they are staying for also the rest of the discography is a really great success. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the one that obviously drew me in first. That's the one I first ever checked out on my reaction channel. And ever since then, I was like, who is this band? Like, this is awesome. <laughs> and then the fact that you guys are more serious as well, it just it shows that you can be fun, but you can also write more serious things. And, and I think that's great. Thank and you very the, much. I, I just saw your merch stand and you guys sell the 
Well, what, pickaxes? Yeah, we are selling That's pickaxes. That's awesome. So we were talking about the pickaxe, you sell the blow up pickaxes, and of course when that song plays, and I've seen it on social media, I'm looking forward to it tonight, it just turns into like this huge party and like the whole crowd is going insane and yeah, I'm excited for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we, we came out with the, with, I mean, again, the people came out with the yeah. inflatable pickaxes. They, they did, uh, the first time we saw them, it was, uh, I think, in Germany. Mm -hmm. People brought their uh, inflatable pickaxes and mm -hmm. the manager was like, bro, we need to do that. Right. That's not, not because, I mean, we, we don't we don't plan to, to earn money on right. this. We just want to recover the costs yeah. of, of making them. Mm -hmm. And we want to see the people with all the inflatable pickaxes yeah. on, on, <laughs> in front of the stage. That, that That's crazy. I mean, I, it's something I... I will never dreamed of it <laughs> years ago. It's it's incredible, really. So, what are you guys working on at the moment? Are you guys working on new music? Of course, yeah. I yeah. mean, that that's our job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are. We have new music, which is coming out really quite soon, let's mm -hmm. say. And we are. I, I can't share anything about this. I'm sorry about that because I would. I would love to say. <laughs> You know, look, I, I have this, this, and this. <laughs> well, I can, but yeah, we are doing really big things, mm -hmm. big, big things. Again, we are uh, listening to our fans, mm -hmm. and we are trying to make our best to satisfy them. Yeah, and we will. I'm pretty sure we will make it. <laughs> well, hopefully, whenever the time comes around to promo that new stuff, we can chat again. Of course, <laughs> of course. Or we meet in person, yes. or we also do a Zoom, a Zoom whatever. Call. Yeah, do whatever it. works. Sure, sure. <laughs> it will be awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. So, just deviating a little bit away from the music, because you are touring the US, is there a particular state or a city that you personally enjoy looking forward to going to? LA. 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 Just because is uh, it's one of course the of the biggest cities in the United States, and I have never been there. I mean, mm -hmm. I've played there, uh, but um, this year we are staying like three, four days in oh, LA nice. because we are flying straight to Auckland in mm -hmm. New Zealand after that. So we have some days off in LA, and yeah. I am really so looking to forward to see. It. Yeah, 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 you get yeah. to explore a bit and exactly. see what it's about. Yeah. You're not stuck in a in the bus or in the venue. Exactly, yeah. that's what happened so far in this tour. Like <laughs> ten days, I only saw the bus and the right. venues, which is totally fine. I like my job. Mm -hmm. I I like doing that, but. Uh, for example, in la in the last tour, the last gig was in New York, mm -hmm. so we stayed three days in New York, nice. and I enjoyed that so much with nice. all these people, a bunch of crazy yeah. people <laughs> roaming the the streets New of New York. <laughs> it's it's the best. That's that's what I'm looking for in LA. Right. Uh, we take all the crew, all the people, and we uh, we go to see time. the city. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We we'll have a lot of fun. So I did see on your Instagram that you guys are touring four continents this year. That's true. Four, and. You announced also a huge tour with Powerwolf. We did. And those are going to be it's like big stadium yes. sort of. Will that be like the biggest stages you've been playing on apart Absolutely, from festivals? Absolutely, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It, sometimes even bigger than festivals. Yeah. We we have probably two three festivals we played at that were really really huge. Mm -hmm. But uh, besides of that, it's of course the biggest stages we yeah. are playing. It will be a. 18 shows uh, in arenas mm -hmm. in in Europe, in mainly Central Europe, and it will be crazy. We are so hyped for that. Yeah. There's a lot of preps going on right now. Yeah, <laughs> you, can you can imagine <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we will uh, bring all that we can, mm -hmm. and we will do our job, and we will have a lot of fun. We are really looking forward to that. It's something like mm, eight. 8,000, 9,000 people every night, mm -hmm. so it will be awesome. We are really, really looking forward to that. Yeah. I mean, I give it, uh, I give this tour we are doing now the, the same importance. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, we are touring with Powerwolf, great band, Ammerful, great band, mm -hmm. but of course we are the openers in that tour. Right. So it's a huge tour, but you are the opener. Here is a, it's a big, me medium tour. Uh, I mean, re really, I'm really happy about all the people we made on this tour, and to me, it's exciting as well mm -hmm. to be here because people is coming to see you, you know. Right. So I, gi I give both tour tours the same important importance, but of course, the Powerwolf one 
is a bit different. It's something we have never done in the past. So. Yeah. So one last question. Sure. Like, what are your goals for this year, like personally, but also as a musician? Mm. I I want to travel all the world. Mm -hmm. I want to rock the people mm -hmm. <laughs> all around the world. <laughs> and yeah, I want to to have people uh, see. Uh, our music, uh, our kids, our songs are, are our kids, and I, I want them to to imagine what we were going through when we wrote the songs. Yeah, so that 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 makes me really happy. A really happy musician to know that people is enjoying our music, and they are probably going through phases of life, mm -hmm. maybe even uh, bad phases of life, and but still going through that listening to our music of course not only our music they are exploring a lot of bands but we, we have a lot of fans that are really thankful um, to us for the song I am the mountain mm -hmm. uh, which which talks about depression and a lot of comments a lot of people uh, saying that that's that song helped them to 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 get out of, a, of something you know so yeah when, when I when I see that I, I'm like, yeah, that, that was my goal. I mean, I, I like being on tour and I like traveling all the world. And that, that's my side, let's say. Yeah. But I also like the fan side when they tell us that they are, that we are really important to them. It's what I'm looking for. I'm, yeah, uh, on, a, on a personal side, I want to, to be the most su successful as possible. Mm -hmm. Let's say that. Yeah. I want to, to do huge tours all around the world uh, because I really like to do that. Uh, yeah. I, I like to see a lot of people in front of me. Uh, yeah, that's pre pretty much it. I'm let's say I'm uh, on a on a good way to <laughs> yeah. on the good road to what I wanted to achieve. Well, we were just talking about that earlier about how you have just quit your your you know your everyday job and now this has become your full-time yeah that, that that's full time musician and that's the dream right yeah that was the dream i i probably didn't hope for for this i mean i always wanted but i knew it was difficult mm -hmm. mainly if you play uh metal music heavy metal music it's really difficult and so i thought maybe i will be uh i don't know uh half musician of software engineer but i mean at least half of my life is good, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> but but in the end, it, it was it came out like this. We are full time musicians, and I could not be happier. Really, I wake up every morning and I'm like, I'm doing what I like for the full day, all days, and I could could not be happier. Really, all right. So proud of this. Well, we're gonna wrap that up, and Windrows are, are of course on their North American tour and they still have a bunch of dates left so if they're coming please check their social medias and see what dates they have coming if they're anywhere close to you come out and see them because talking to claudio today has been absolutely amazing thank you so much for your time thank you very much thank you so much for having me uh dry, for driving me around <laughs> <laughs> and bringing me to the guitar store and for this interview i really enjoyed talking to you as well and uh, yeah i hope to see you all on the next gigs we have in America. Absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome.